Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Hilton Akron Fairlawn, the preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. Again, everyone, welcome to another edition of Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, the Zips with two games last week, two more wins. Akron right now 21-6 and six on the season, 11-3 and three in the Mid-American Conference. Coach, only four games left in the regular season, two at home, two on the road. We're playing pretty well right now. Yeah, it's winding down, isn't it? It is. Really fast. Um, you know, obviously give our guys credit. I thought that we found ways to win this past week, and that's important in February when you're playing, especially playing teams for a second time like we did with Western uh, and then obviously Miami. So, you know, familiarity, scouting, taking yeah. away tendencies, it can sometimes look a little ugly out there in February, but our guys showed a lot of grit and found a way to get it done. Impressive, Coach, because I added everything up. I think the team spent 19 hours – on buses in the last week still came back and had a nice win over Miami on Saturday. Yeah, we did. The travel certainly wasn't ideal, uh, but our guys are pretty tough and found a way to fight through it. I thought we did a good job, uh, st support staff and my staff, yeah. of managing, trying to make sure we do just enough to get ready to play, but at the same time, uh, from a physical standpoint, backing off a little bit just to keep them fresh because of the travel, and uh, we kind of fought our way through it. We're going to talk about these two guys a little bit later in the show, but I thought Tyler Cheese had a great week, and Jaden Sales has come on. Now, as you mentioned on the radio show, you've got a 10-man rotation. Yeah, no question. I thought Cheese was terrific. I thought he was the best player on the floor for yeah. either team the night we played Western Michigan. Uh, he came right back against Miami, and statistically, like he does, I mean, he can fill a stat sheet, rebounds, assists, yeah. points, and he was efficient. He had 17 points on 11 shots, you know, so he was very, very efficient. Had a heck of a week for us. And then the emergence of sales. You're yeah. right. I mean, I, I, I don't think we win the Western Michigan game without him. And then he came right back uh, against Miami and did a really yeah. nice job and was very productive per minute played. Exactly. Right now, let's go back up to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Pick up highlights from the big win over the Broncos. Brought to you by ESPN. And, Coach, anytime you play in the road at any place in the conference, it's going to be tough. Yeah, no question, especially going back-to-back -back, uh, with two really extended long trips. I was really proud of our guys, the way they handled it. Uh, they were very professional and mature about it, and uh, I thought we really, really manned up, um, you know, across the board. And uh, really needed all ten guys, as you were saying there earlier, Joe, in the Western game and the Miami game to be able to get it done. And I thought all the guys added value that played and – and uh, that's important this time of year. So we're continuing. Our bench got a little deeper here this past week, and that's a good thing, certainly heading down the stretch. Kind of a slow start to this game, Coach. It was only 3-2, to two, four minutes into the game. And then in the final eight minutes of the first half, you start to separate a little bit from the Broncos. Yeah, we did. I thought we were a little sluggish early in both games this past week. We got off to slower starts than what we have normally, but just kept grinding and you know really relied on our defense, I thought, in both games. Uh, uh, to keep us hanging around until we could start to make some shots and improve some offensive execution and find our way there. And, you know, sometimes you have to do that. You know, I always say defense and rebounding and taking care of the ball travels no matter if it's home, away, yeah. or neutral. And uh, I thought we did a good job. Certainly had seven turnovers, and we'll obviously see Miami highlights here shortly in the game against Miami. So we were, we were pretty good in those rock-solid areas that we needed to be in order to give ourselves a chance to win. You were up by seven at the half, Coach, 36-29. Tyler Cheese had 14 first-half points, Lauren Christian Jackson with 10. So those guys really helped in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, they made plays. That's what they do, right? They're, they're our playmakers. They made plays and I thought, for the most part, made good decisions, were aggressive and in attack mode, like you see Tyler here in transition drawing a foul. Uh, I thought we did, really did some good things with our playmakers uh, really all week, not just Western but Miami as well. 
mentioned Jaden Sales this year. I uh, shot of him, came off the bench. I thought was a tremendous energy, good hands, catches the ball, goes up for a nice dunk right there. No, he finished well. And obviously, yeah. when you're out there playing with Jackson and Cheese, you got to make yourself exactly. available because both guys can really pass. And Trib has gotten better as well uh, at making decisions as another one of our playmakers. So. You know, I, I thought that uh, he was ready uh, to catch the ball and finish and did a great job, shot a high percentage this past week, and then rebounded it really well at Western. 746 left in the game, Akron up by 257-55. Then you get two free throws from Zarius Williams and a three-pointer from Cheese off a good feed from Williams. You lead at 64-55, then you go on to win the game. Yeah, we just finished it, and I thought played really smart at the end like a veteran crew should and made the necessary plays to finish it out. Tyler Cheese with 23 points to lead Akron. Lauren Christian Jackson with 17. Coach, six road wins in the conference. That's, that's impressive. No, no question. It speaks, uh, obviously, to our team's leadership and, and uh, connectedness you know, with our group. Our group really cares about each other, and uh, it shows you know, when, when they play. And you know, There's no place you need that more, Joe, than playing away from home. Exactly. And our guys have been pretty consistent with that and showed quite a bit of grit. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have a special feature. It might be the first brother-sister combo in University of Akron basketball history with the men and the women. We'll meet the Dawsons right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie-cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I'm here. This isn't a stop on my way somewhere else. This is my way up. This city, this university. Akron is where I learn to outwork and outsmart. To aim high, then raise the bar. Because hips never settle for less. No entitlement, no excuses, just my education. My future. I'm on the rise, and we are Akron. Okay, welcome back to Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross. And coach, I've been around the university a long time. I cannot remember. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. The first brother-sister combination we've ever had in Zip uniforms. Michael with your team and Jordan with the women. Yeah, we're awful fortunate, obviously, and lucky to have Michael yeah. with us. And uh, I know the women's basketball uh, program, obviously, is uh, you know thrilled to have Jordan as well. Yeah. So, you know, very uh, great family. And uh, really excited about Michael, not only what he's doing now, but he's a big part of our future and uh, is, is going to be a really, really good player. Yeah. Has, has really learned quickly, yeah. obviously joined us in December, uh, so his learning curve was pretty steep. And I just really appreciate the way he has handled himself, how he's wanted to learn, be coachable, fit in. Just a great kid and uh, excited to have him in our locker room. Right now, let's meet the Dawsons, Zips in the men's program and the women's program. Haley with the uh, the 10 points and the 12 boards. Dawson, that's strong. Eagles by seven. Nice move, Michael Dawson. Brought the spinorama out and goes glass. Growing up, we didn't really get along <laughs> well. But as we got older, we started to get along and we, we came closer and closer. Um, playing basketball, uh, it was fun. Uh, we played together when we were younger. <laughs> Sometimes I would show up to her practices and her coach would want me to join in with her uh, practices just to help them get better and get stronger. And other times when I would have practice, she would show up to my practices and my coach would want her to join in with us. And I think it just helped her, help both of us for the better. It was mainly <laughs> me. I was just so mean to him for no reason. For no reason. Like, I, she could be, like, close to the remote or something. If she asked me to get it, I would be like, you're right there. And she would just have a whole attitude for the whole day. And I would, <laughs> I'd be like, where are you? What are you, like, what are you doing? Why are I you think, mad? I think it was one time where my mom had ordered pizza for us, and it was, like, the two last slices of pizza. I think <laughs> he was hungry. And I, I no, no, I, I took the last two slices, and uh, he wanted a piece, so I was already eating the first piece, and I bit the other one so he couldn't have it. <laughs> like, just being mean. For me, I'll never forget the day 
Um, it was all three of us. We went to go stay with my oldest brother when he lived in Kentucky. And he took us to a park and we were playing pickups before, like we were all just playing pickups. And then like after everybody left the court, he had me working on my left hand all day. And I was so mad at him. I started crying because I couldn't use my left hand. But now that I think about it, he, I'm glad he did what he did and it helped me a lot. So. <laughs> um, my brother would just get on me a lot. Like he, know, he knows I can do better. And I know that I can do better, and he would just get on me, and that would help me. What about the Dawson family, huh? Talk about Akron Zips basketball. Female, Jordan. For Melissa Jackson. Male, Jordan. Uh, Michael, starting to get more playing time now for John Gross. Those first names together as Michael Jordan. Do you think yes. that's any? We need to dig I, into uh, that uh, a little yeah. bit, see if they were destined to be a basketball basketball family. I knew that I wanted to be close to home, but I also it was in the back of my head that he was coming here and I was like, oh, it'd be cool for us to go to the same school. I committed first, so I didn't really know that Akron was looking at her until I seen one of our AAU coaches at a gym and he said, I've been talking to the coaches, trying to get them to recruit your sister. And then that's when I called her and I was letting her know, I was like, you know, Akron's gonna be looking at you. And then she, I guess she already knew cause she told me, she was like, yeah. So I had a better feeling when she committed here. So now that I have someone that I know that I can talk to about anything. I try to catch every one of our home games because I can't really can't really go to any away games really unless it's like Kent or something. And I think like outside of basketball, I think we hung out a couple of times, but not really on a daily basis. For me, I come to all the home games, whether or if it's at Kent, I'll go to Kent. Um, if it's a way, I'll watch it on my phone with my teammates. Um, we don't really hang out like outside of basketball, but we'll still call each other. We'll see each other in the jar, and we'll say what's up. Yeah, we'll, have still, our... we'll still like, check up on each other. Yeah, have, have a we little conversation. Yeah. Coach, I can only guess about some of those one-on-one -on -one battles they had in the playground in the uh, backyard, right? That'd have been something. No, they're really competitive. <laughs> I joke with them when I see them in the hallways, you know, who, who's going to get the best grades, you know, who's going to play the best this week, yeah. who's going to have the best practices. Of course, Michael always says it's going to be him. Jordan says it's going to be her. And uh, they're really, really competitive. It's two, uh, you know, two uh, trait. If you're going to have a trait to be competitive yeah. in, in life and ball, that's a pretty, it's a pretty good one to have. You exactly. Know, they compete and, you know, fight for what they want. And we hope all of our players learn that through the experience of being here so that when they get out in the real world, they know how to compete. Exactly. You know, they know how to fight for what they want. Exactly. Hope you enjoyed meeting the Dawsons. We're going to take a break, come back and watch highlights from Saturday's big win over Miami right after this. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. Summa Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Well, the biggest crowd of the season on hand Saturday afternoon to watch the Zips take on Miami. And coach, uh, you've played, you've coached. You get that type of crowd in there, the excitement, the adrenaline, it's something special. No, it was phenomenal. Our yeah. crowd's been really good all year and has continued to get better as the years move forward. And we're just really appreciative. You know, student support, community support. Yeah. We've had a lot of alumni back and we've had a lot of former players back for practice. And it's pretty neat. You know, I'm really, um, you know, it's, it's a great thing to continue to plug into the community, plug into the university. Obviously, you know, we're a small part of it, but, yeah. um, you know, we, uh, you know, we're all one Akron. We say that sure. all the time. So great crowd. It was phenomenal. And they had a big, uh, 
you know, they were a big reason why we, I think, got on a couple of those spurts. Yeah. You know, our guys fed off of their energy. Exactly. Well, let's go back to Rose Arena this past Saturday afternoon. A big win over Miami. Highlights brought to you by ESPN. And, Coach, I'll let you comment on those pink uniforms. That's, that's special. Yeah, no, it was. Obviously, just a great day. The women had a great game and won uh, over Ohio. Thrilled for them. And then, uh, obviously, we were able to win uh, the game over Miami and, uh, you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Day yeah. and, you know, the opportunity to, to uh, raise money for NACON. Really, the women did a great job of organizing all that. We just played a small part in it, but it was fun to be a part of it. Slow start to the game, Coach. I know you weren't happy with the first 20 minutes. Uh, took eight three-point shots to begin the game. Didn't hit anything, but uh, that second half is going to be special. But sometimes you got to work your way through that first half. Yeah, I thought we had good shots early. We didn't make them. Um, you know, I thought our ball movement was pretty good early. And then I thought we got just a little bit sloppy at times during the first half with our execution offensively. And then defensively, you know, <laughs> The backboard was good to us in the first half. I thought we were pretty good there. We got 20 out of 23 defensive rebounds back, but in the second half, they hit us hard on the backboard. So we can play better. We did find a way, as we said at the outset of the show at the beginning here, that really in both games, the yeah. Western and Miami game, we kind of found a way. But, you know, the good news is I think we can play even better, Joe. Yes. Red Hawks tried to deny the basketball to Lauren Christian Jackson early, Coach. Uh, worked a little bit, but he still had 11 points in the first half. Yeah, no, every team's doing that right yeah. now. It's not yeah. just Miami. Yeah. So, you know, we've got multiple weapons out there. Had four double-figure scores again against Miami. You know, we've got four guys that average double figures. And then our center position being manned by three guys. I've said this all year. You know, those guys average collectively over 10 points per game and over 10 rebounds per game. So, you know, we're getting contributions from everybody. The rotation's gotten deeper, as you mentioned earlier, which is a good thing. And uh, we can come at you in waves, which is great. Jaden Sales comes off the bench again, as he did up in Kalamazoo, to help you go on a 12-0 run, Coach, in that first half to separate from the Red Hawks. No, his minutes were really valuable. Did a great job. And uh, he's been ready uh, the last two games. You know, there's a difference between, hey, I'll get ready once my number's called yeah. and being ready. And I think Jaden was ready. Uh, the last two games and really helped us and uh, excited about, uh, you know, obviously his addition uh, to the rotation here the last two games and the value that he's added. Up 36-24 at uh, halftime, Tyler Cheese with 10 first half points. Then he lead by 9, 41-32 early in the second half and go on to win the basketball game. Yeah, finished it out, right? Just made a few plays there at the end. I thought we played pretty intelligently with our older group, but, you know, we've got to figure out a way to be more consistent, I think, with you know, our toughness and focus and concentration and our ability to execute throughout the bulk of the 40 minutes. I know all coaches want that. Um, and obviously that's what we're looking for here down the stretch in order for us to play our best basketball. Miami cut the lead coach to 64-57. There was 4.45 left in the game. You call a timeout, settle things down, and as we said, you go on to win the game. Yeah, I just wanted to remind them, hey, that's next play. Let's finish it. Everybody take a deep breath, concentrate on what we can control. I thought our guys did that. You know, Azarius Williams did not have the best shooting game. We mentioned that in the radio show, but he did make a couple of big plays down the stretch, got an offensive rebound, got fouled, hit a couple of free throws. Then uh, hit a two-pointer, I think, or a three-pointer. He played well, even though maybe he doesn't show up in the box score. Yeah, no question. Obviously, he didn't shoot the ball well yeah. from three, but, you know, made some uh, field goals here and there for us from two-point range, went eight for eight from the line, only had exactly. one turnover and had double-figure rebounds. So, Zerus is a good player. As I told him this past week, uh, you know, he's not a one-trick pony. Yeah. You know, he can affect the game in a lot of different ways, and I'm confident that the shot will uh, will, will come. You know, that's going to come. He, he's, he's proven over the course of time that he's – a really, really yeah. elite shooter. You know, our team believes in him, and certainly our staff does as well. Exactly. Well, the Zips win number 21, 75 65 over Miami. We're going to take a break, come back and announce our player of the week and our player on the rise right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we did not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I'm here. This isn't a stop on my way somewhere else. This is my way up. This city, this university, Akron is where I learn to outwork and outsmart. 
So aim high, then raise the bar. Because zips never settle for less. No entitlement, no excuses, just my education. My future. I'm on the rise, and we are Akron. As always, it's time to name our player of the week and our player on the rise. We talked about Tyler Cheese, Coach. He's our player of the week. What a great week he had. 6'5 combo guard out of Albany, Georgia. Had an outstanding week. A double-double at Western Michigan. 23 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals. He did it all up there. He does. I mean, he's so versatile. You yeah. know, and really impacts the stat sheet in a lot of ways. And the thing I'm most proud of, Joe, is the fact that his discipline, his details, um, his execution of the little things as he's grown with us here over these two years has really improved. It's helped our team. It's helped him become a better player and a better person. Yeah. And I, I just think he's become much more well-rounded and, you know, has become much more of an everyday guy. So really proud of his development and growth as a person and a player. Then back home Saturday afternoon against Miami, Coach, I want to get this right, 17.6 rebounds and a steal. He's playing at an all-conference level. Yeah, and four assists, zero yeah. turns. So he was, he was really good all week, and we're going to need him to continue to you know, play that way here down the stretch. We know he's certainly capable of that. Player on the rise, we've talked about Jaden Sales a few times during the program, but boy, he has really come on the last week. 6'9 post out of Cincinnati Sycamore High School. Two good games against Western and Miami. If he continues to play at this level, Coach, that's a plus going down the stretch. Oh, it's huge. You know, when you got 10 guys that you can put in the game that you have confidence in that can add value, you know, regardless of how much they play or they're, they're, they're ready when you put them in, that's a big deal, yeah. you know, this time of year. So, you know, we've got a great, uh, had great bench production here lately. Obviously, Sales spearheaded that this past week with his terrific play. Yeah, three and four out of uh, shots against Western Michigan. Added three rebounds and a steal against Miami. Played eight and a half minutes for you, Coach. If he can give you eight, nine minutes, you got uh, three pretty good players in the post. Yeah, no question. And we have, the, obviously, the ability to play them you know, three of them at that spot, or we can play them both together based yeah. on what we need if we want to go big. It gives us a lot of versatility. And uh, certainly, you know, he was a huge, huge part of this past week and the two wins. Exactly. Congratulations to those two players. As we said, the Zips just have four games left, two on the road, two at home. Those two road games come this week, Tuesday night at Bowling Green, Saturday afternoon up at Buffalo. And coach, I don't have to tell you how big these two games are. I know we're taking one at a time. Bowling Green on Tuesday night, they had a huge winter over Ohio on Saturday. Yeah, just a great opportunity this time of year. I mean, obviously both of us right now are atop the standings uh, with four games to go and uh, should be a great environment. They're a really good team, very well coached, they have good players. And, uh, you know, our guys will be excited to play. It's just a, just a great opportunity and a privilege to have the opportunity to be playing for something really significant this time of year. Talk about Bowling Green to talk about one of the better players in the league, one of the better players in the Midwest and 6'4", Justin Turner. Yeah, I think he's one of the best players in the country. Yeah. Uh, he's at that level. I mean, he can take over a game uh, when, the, when his team needs him most is when he usually steps up. Uh, he's a big-time player. Uh, he plays both ends of the floor, you know, three-level scorer. Love his disposition out there and uh, really respect his ability as a player. So he's a handful. You know, we did a good job against him in game one. And, um, you know, we'll have to embrace that challenge again heading into game two. Exactly. Then Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock tip-off up at Buffalo. They had a great win Friday night uh, against Kent State. Double overtime. I don't know if you watched that or not. Go heck of a yeah, game. Yeah, I saw, saw a little bit of it. Obviously, you know, when you think of Buffalo, you think of toughness. And, you know, obviously they're extremely athletic. Uh, they drive the ball about as good as any team in the country. Yeah. And they really test you and challenge you in that regard. So, and they got us here at home and played great. You know, we didn't play particularly great that night, but they had a lot to do with it uh, in a one-possession loss. And uh, I know our guys, when the time comes, will look, be looking forward to playing them again as well. Exactly. A quick reminder of the fans, our final two home games, Ohio and Kent State, not many tickets left for that. Get those tickets now. Those two games have also been picked off for a national TV audience, so it should be a lot of fun. That'll be Ohio and Kent State. For head coach John Gross, I'm Joe Dunn. Thanks for watching. Always remember, go Zips. Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together.
Hilton Akron Fairlawn, the preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.